Hi Cupcakes! Welcome back to my channel, They Cook Knotted. This is episode 1 of when the devil made him pregnant. In this video, storyline, character, voice and editing is mine. And if you don't want the voiceover, then please silence the voice. Today's shoutouts goes to My favorite comments goes to Teresa Simons Deborah Rose and Michelle Episode 1 this is the start of a new series, so I hope that you all enjoy it. So let's get started. One morning, a boy was packing his bags frantically in fear of his father seeing it. The boy, I will run away and never come back to this hell hole. Bang, bang. That boy, oh no, he is here. Again, the sound was heard as someone was banging the door, room store furiously. Second person, Kim Tae-yang opened the door. They trembled in fear. He didn't want to open the door, but the door was kicked open. That second person, oh, so you're running away from your father? Huh? Come, dear son, I will teach you a good lesson today. They shook his head in fear. That man was reaching in anger. He groped his hair tightly and, and dragged him out to the living room by his hairs and they kept screaming in pain. He pushed him on the ground and kept coming closer to him while taking off his belt to beat the poor boy and they kept crawling back. They, uh, Appa, don't please, Tay's father, shut up. With that, he started whipping Tay with his belt. Tay was screaming in pain. He wanted to leave. He just couldn't take it anymore. He managed to stand and push back his father with all the energy he had and ran out of the house and went in the woods right behind his house. He ducked his head out of reflex as he heard a gunshot. He was running non-stop without looking anywhere. He stumbled upon a broken branch and rolled down on the ground because of a deep slope and hit his head on a stone at the end which caused him to lose his consciousness. After a few hours, Tay's head was spinning and he slowly opened his eyes. Tay started screaming and the first person standing over there started screaming as well. When the second person came and Tay again started screaming while looking at that person, second person also started screaming. Suddenly, Everything went silent. They blinked several times. Second person, why were we screaming? First person, why were you screaming? Second person, I was screaming because you were all, you were all screaming. First person, adrenaline rush? Second person nodded. Both the people looked at Tay and smiled, who also smiled, not knowing why, but he felt comfortable. Third and fourth person rushes in the room worriedly due to the screams they heard earlier. Third person, Jin babe, why were you screaming? Fourth person, Jimina, are you okay? Why were you screaming? Jimin, ah, uh, Yungia, actually I heard Oma screaming. So I, so when I came in, I also started screaming. Yungi, Oma, why were you screaming? Jin, oh, actually, I was looking after him till he wakes up. And when he did, he started screaming, which made me scream. By the way, Namjuna, where is he? Namjun, he is coming. He just went for some work. Jin, oh, then call him. Tell him that the boy is awake. All of them looked at the boy. I mean, at they. And they looked at them with doe eyes, looking really adorable. As the medic dressing... On his head to cover his wound made his face look small and eyes big. Jin, hey, how are you feeling? Tay tries to sit up but lets out a whimper as his head is also injured. There were scratches on his palm which were covered in white bandage dressing as well. Jimin helped Tay sit on the bed. Tay, thank you. Jimin, oh, no problem. Tay. I am feeling better. 
Jin. Good. By the way, I'm Kim Sook Jin, and he is my husband, Kim Nam Jun. Jimin. I am Park. Sorry, Min Jung Jimin. He is my husband, Min Yoongi, and my other husband will come back at night. His name is Jung Ho Sook. Actually, we just got married. That's why I always see my old surname. They giggles hearing Jimin rambling over his clumsiness and was a bit shocked by knowing that Jimin have two husbands. Tae, nice to meet you all. My name is Kim Taeyang. Everyone, we know. Tae, huh? How? Everyone looked at each other knowing they effed up. Jimin, they have some juice. It will help you recover. Jimin, handed Tae's non-injured hand a glass of orange juice to change the subject. But... They ain't a fool. They, you guys didn't tell me how you all know my name. A deep octave voice. Because of your ID we got from your back pocket. Everyone looked back and they looked sideways to see. A hot, handsome, dashing man standing on the doorway with his dark aura. They felt shivering at the voice but don't know why. He felt happy seeing those dead eyes. Those eyes were looking as if they were longing for someone's comfort. The eyes were missing his loved one, but those eyes seemed familiar. Just a different was that they looked dead. Jin, Jungkook, you came back from your work? Jungkook just nodded. Jin, do you want to eat? Jungkook, Amma, not now. When he will eat, I'll eat. Jin didn't say anything, understanding his son. They was not at all saying anything. He was just thinking, why this hot man wants to eat when I will? Jimin, I think you all should go out. Oma and I will help they change, right? They they nodded while smiling. JK went closer to Jimin and whispered something in his ear. JK, don't look too much. Jimin squinted his eyes and replied while whispering. Jimin. I am already married, plus he is yours. I don't have any death wish. JK smirked. You are learning very fast. Jimin rolled his eyes. Jimin, normal voice. Leave guys, do you all plan to stay here? They must be hungry as well. All of them left. Jin. They, you wait, we will bring some clothes for you. Jimin, Jin and Jimin went and came quickly with Jin carrying a bowl of warm water and Jimin carrying fresh clothes for Tae. They removed the blanket from Tae. Jimin, is it okay if we remove your clothes? They nodded. Jin and Jimin removed these clothes leaving him in his underwear. They were shocked when they saw marks on Tae. There were blade marks on his hand. That means... He was self-harming him and some marks on his back that means he got whipped by someone or even beaten by bells. Yet Jin and Jimin didn't say anything or reacted to it knowing why he have marks and they started cleaning him. They, I have few questions. If you don't mind, can I ask? Jin, sure. Jin softly smiled while looking at they. They, how did I get here? Jin, well, my son Jungkook got you here and he saw you lying unconscious on the ground. Jimin, this is his bedroom only. They, oh, thanks to him I am alive. They chuckles while looking down. Jin, and yes, you can call me Oma and Namjoon Appa, okay? They, yeah, about that, why is everyone calling you Oma? They asked out of curiosity. To which Jin got sad and yet he replied, Jin, I am infertile so I cannot give birth and I was the one who was there as a mother figure when Jungkook and Yoongi were kids. I raised them. That's why they call me Oma. It makes me feel good. They are like my own kids. Jin felt something wet on his cheeks. He realized that he was crying. He was going to wipe it off but he felt soft hand on his cheek wiping his tears. They, it's okay Oma, don't worry. Jin smiled and they nodded. They, you look really young so 
I mean, like, you look too young to raise them since they were babies. Jin, my age is more than I look. They really surprised. Jin nodded. Jimin, don't you have any questions for me? They, I actually do. Jimin smiled. Then ask. They, don't mind me, but how come you have two husbands? Jimin smiles. Oh, actually, Yungi and Hobi were my teachers during my college time, and I felt very really hard for them. After graduating, they proposed me, and who was I to say no to the ones whom I love? And that's how I ended up marrying them, right after two weeks of proposal. It's been three, four months since we got married. They all, oh, that's such a cute story. Jimin blushed. They. What work does Appa and Jungkook do as Yungi and Young and Hobiyong are teachers? Jimin, Hobi and Yungi were teachers. They already left the job after marrying me. They, oh. Jin, Namjoon and Jungkook are businessmen. And now Hobi and Yungi helps them in business as well. They, oh. What is their company name? Jin, TK Enterprise. They, whoa, that's a pretty famous ex import export company. Jin, yeah, and I'm really proud of Jungkook. He settled that company on his own. They, that's good. What's the full name of the company? Jin and Jimin looked at each other and then at they. They panicked as they didn't know what to say. Jimin, uh, th there is no full name, it's just. A random name. They, oh, by the way, where is Hobiyong? Jimin, oh, he went for a business trip. It's been a week, but today he will be there, here, before dinner. They, I'm excited to meet him. Jimin just smiles. Jimin, he's already dying to see you, says to himself. They, huh? Jimin, nothing. Jin, okay, you are done. Jin sat standing up as he helped Tay wear his garments and clothes. Tay, thank you, Oma. Tay smiled as tears thread to come out of his eyes, feeling loved after so long. Jin, hey, why are you crying? Tay, I, I don't have a mom. She died right after I was born. After so long, I'm feeling loved. After so much torture from my evil father, I am feeling loved. Jin sat, again sat beside Tay and cupped his cheeks, wiping Tay's tear. Jin, don't cry, son. You have me now. Jin hugged a crying bear who hugged him back tightly. Tay, please don't leave me, please. I beg you, don't send me back to that hell again, please. Jin crying, no, no, I will not let you go. You are my son. I will not leave you. You are safe here with us. We'll protect you. They broke the hug. They, thank you, Oma. Jin smiled and wiped his and they stares. Jin, you must be hungry. Le right? I'll bring food. They nodded and Jin and Jimin left. As they got out, JK, how's he now? Jimin, you saw him earlier. He's good, but... Jungle, but what? Jimin left as he didn't want to cry. Then Jungkook looked at Jin for answer. Jin, he still have marks on his body. More importantly, he, cut, he cuts himself. Jungkook felt like his world is breaking. Jungkook, he started self-harming? It's all my fault. Why did I leave him? Why? Jungkook punched the wall, making a hole in it. Jin, Jungkook, what are you doing? Show me. Your hat. Jungkook, I'm fine, Oma. It will heal. You know I am a... Jin, I know who you are. And I'm also that only. But still, it hurts seeing it. Jungkook, Oma, this is a small wound compared to what my heart has faced. Jin, I know. I know you are hurt. And Tay's soul is also. But the difference is that he doesn't remember anything. Jungkook, and... I don't want him to remember anything. Jin, but you have to tell him one day. Make him fall for you once again. Make him yours again. But this time, fall forever. Jimin, and also started by feeding him. 
Jimin handed JK a tray filled with Tae's favorite food. Jin, it's Tae's favorite food. I made it the way I used to back at that time. Jungkook, thanks, Oma. I'll go and feed him. He must be hungry. Jin and Jimin nodded and then they retreated to do their work. While Jungkook went in, but his heart stopped beating when he didn't saw Tae on bed. He panicked. He kept the tray on the side table and ran in the closet, but Tae wasn't there. He looked in bathroom, which was inside the walk-in closet, but he wasn't there. Jungkook came out of the closet and felt his heartbeat coming back to normal. He ran towards Tae and hugged him, catching him off guard. Tae could feel Jungkook's heartbeat loudly as they didn't have any space left. Jungkook, thanks to the devil god, he was safe. Please don't go anywhere without telling me, love. Jungkook said it in a flow, leaving Tae shocked for three reasons. First, Jungkook said devil god when people say god. Second, Jungkook called him love. Third, and most importantly, Jungkook was hella worried about him. Jungkook broke the hug and looked at a shocked Tae, realizing what he said. He immediately took a few steps back. Jungkook, sorry for my behavior. I, I brought food for you. Oma had to do some work. Tae, no problem. I'm sorry. I just went in the balcony. It's very large. Tae said while blushing, as he really liked the way Jungkook treated him a minute ago. When Jungkook noticed and he scratched his back of his neck while looking somewhere else and blushing as well. Yeah, he was blushing, but he stopped blushing when he heard Tae's grumbling stomach. He was already blushing. Now he was red because of embarrassment. Tae, uh, I... Jungkook, it's okay. Come, I'll feed you. Tae nodded and sat on the bed while resting his back on the bed rest. Jungkook sat in front of Tae while his one leg was folded under another and that leg, leg's feet was on ground. Author's note, I hope you all understand what I am saying. Tae looked at the, uh, at the tray and his eyes shined. Tae, it's my favorite food. Jungkook chuckled and said to himself, Jungkook, I know. Jungkook took chopsticks and swirled chopche with it, mixing the vegetables and the sauce. He then took some in the chopstick and sticked his hand out in front of Tae, who ate it. Jungkook was looking at Tae lovingly, the way he was pouting while eating. After his food finished, Jungkook gave Tae some medicines with a glass of water. Jungkook, e eat these. They, I don't like medicines. Jungkook, but you have to eat it. Here you go. They pouted and ate the medicines eventually. Jungkook, Jungkook, now sleep. You must be tired. They, yeah, by the way, what's your full name? Jungkook, John Jungkook. They, oh, JK, now I leave. Jungkook was going to leave. But they held the hem of Jungkook's hoodie. Jungkook looked at Tae. Tae, don't, don't go please. Tae pleaded and Jungkook couldn't say no. Jungkook, I'll be here on the couch. Tae, thank you. Tae closed his eyes and Jungkook sat on the couch, which is beside the bed. While looking at Tae in admiration, after they slept, Jungkook got up from his place and sat beside Tae while caressing his palm with his hand. Jungkook, you must have faced so many problems while I was gone. Tears up. Look at you. You are so fragile. I, I know you don't remember me and it's good because I don't want you to hate me, love. Jungkook was crying. That's when he felt a hand on his shoulder. He looked back and saw Jin. JK, oh, Amma? Jungkook cries as he hugged Jin's waist, snuggling into him, while Jin was continuously caressing his hairs. 
and rubbing his back in comforting motion. Jin, it's not just you, but we also have missed him. Janko cried. I, I failed to protect him, Amma. Jin, it's past cock. Now no one will come in your path to make they yours. And don't blame yourself. Janko, but, but, Jin, shush, now come and eat something. Jin said as he took the took these empty plate and Janko got up from bed following Jin out to eat something. At night, there was continuous doorbell ringing which broke the sleep and he woke up. In living room, ding dong, Jimin, it must be Hobi. Jimin got up and opened the door. Hobi, is he here? Jimin, yes he is. Hobi, oh, how is he? Jimin, hey, calm down, he is well and good. Hobi tears up when he looked at the stairs and saw the standing on the mid stair looking at him with innocent two eyes. Hobi lost it. He ran up the stairs and hugged the. Hobi, my baby brother is safe. They hugged him back and few questions added up in his list. First, why is Hobi crying as he saw him? Second, why did he call him his brother? Third, what's his relation with everyone? They are. Ah, they whimpered as Hobi touched him on his shoulder, which was cramped because he slept in a wrong way. Hobi immediately backed out. Hobi, sorry, did it hurt too much? Hobi said in a guilty and apologetic way. They, it's okay, Yong, I'm totally fine. Hobi felt like crying as he heard Yong after, from Te after so long. Hobi to Jimin, did you feed him well? Jimin smiles and nodded. Hobi, good. Te, did you have your dinner? Te shook his head. Hobi, come, Yong will feed you just like old days. Te, huh? Hobi, I, I, come Te, come. Hobi carefully took Te's hand and leaded him to the dining room. Hobi, Jimina, get the table ready. Jimin nodded and rushed to the kitchen to set the dining table. Hobi, Te, Namjoon, Yungi, and Jungkook sat on the chairs by the dining table while Jin and Jimin went in the kitchen. Hobi, how have you been? Te, good. Hobi, don't lie. Te looks at his lap. Hobi, hey, it's okay. Now you are with us and we we'll protect you, okay? Te looks at Hobi and nods happily. Jimin and Jin came and served everyone food. Hobi feeds Te and Te felt so much loved by everyone. He wanted to cry but he didn't want it, everyone to worry about it. Te spoke. Who are they? What's my relationship with them? My own father didn't love me. The way these strangers are showering me with love. No, no, they are not strangers. From now on, they are my family. And this hot guy, Chanko, is really mysterious. His eyes looked empty when I first saw him, but now they look different. As if it found its life. What can be the reason? But I want to find out. Whom am I to them? Because they are hiding something from me. And of these both. What relation do they have with they? What happened years ago with Jungkook regret, regretted? Why was Hobi calling they his baby brother? If you know it, then comment it. So guys, this is the end of episode 1. And I know I am uploading after 13 days, which is very long. And guys, I am losing subscribers, which is very sad. And I hope that you all who are watching this video keeps me subscribed because you guys are my only hope. And see you in next episode. So till then, Bora hai.